Hi everyone, my name is Shan He. I work at the data visualization team at Uber. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about why data visualization is important and different data visualization areas that my team is working on. So why is data visualization important? Many of you in data science might have been very familiar with this example. So all four of the data sets has the exactly same statistic properties. They have the same mean, sample variance, linear regression, and even XY correlations. But once you plot all of them on the single simple plot, you actually can tell there are significantly different uh, data sets. So data visualization help us review the patterns underneath the data. It make data a lot more easier to consume. Like, no one know what's behind those numbers like we are not robots in the matrix movie we cannot tell whether there's a beautiful red dress lady behind this but once we color them with a simple color code you know not a red dress lady but close enough so this is a cheesy example but it tells us how we can use visualization to make data a lot more easier to see and so talk about visualization. The first thing I want to say is like, what is Uber's data like? You know, use the word like. So um, this is a video showing our global expansion from the first ride we did in San Francisco. And then over the course of five years, we reached our million trip in 2015, uh, 2012. And then we have been growing rapidly. We did our one billion trip in end of 2015. And we quickly did another 1 billion trip in June 2016. What's interesting enough is because there are so many trips happening at the same moment, there are actually 147 trips all started at the same seconds, which we count them as our 2 billion trip. This data visualization tells you how like the volume or the expansion of data we're handling globally. And let's take a look, close look at different cities. This is all trip in one day in Mexico City in 2014. Each of the line is drawn by one by the GPS trace of single trip. And this is 2016. So, you know, we talk about numbers every day. Oh, we did like a couple thousand trips in the city. But what does that really mean? By visualization, we can tell you, you know, we almost covers every single street in Mexico City in one day. And then data tells you how much depth we have in uh, how much impacts we're doing in cities. So what do we do with all this? We want to contribute our specialties into growing of our business. We want to help build a more intelligent and efficient system. So there are a couple of focuses area of our team. The first one is we build visual analysis tools, mainly helping our business intelligence uh, team to build like reporting and real-time analysis with charts and networks. We also invest heavily into our mapping applications. So we love geospatial data. So we built like maps that are visualizing trips, pickups and drop-offs, and even uh, street segments or building layers. We also working on core frameworks. So once we build these tools, we want to make open source frameworks. So Anyone can just use our libraries to build pretty, pretty visualizations. And in the end, as Corey presented in her presentation, we want to use data to tell like, stories about Uber, data about Uber. So I'm going to go through each of the area briefly. Our team basically powers the visual layers on top of most of our business intelligence platform. One of those examples is A-B testing platform that Olivia just talked about. So uh, we built this experimentation platform that have our engineers to launch their own experiment, configure it, and then later on monitor the result of, of their experiment. From this interface, you can compare result of your experiment through, uh, uh, across different treatment groups and then with a handful of different metrics. You can look at through a very brief view, looking at how good or bad each treatment group is doing, or you can look at like confident interval view to compare your experiment in a deeper visual representation. Second, mapping. We love maps. We want to make rich geospatial data exploration tools for engineers to have them better study the geospatial data. 
So have anyone here done any geospatial analysis study? Yeah. And I guess you all use tools at ArcGIS or QGIS. Yeah, so, you know, desktop tools where you click on like ads layer and walk away for three minutes and come back and something shows up. So we want to solve that problem for our engineers. So we build this advanced mapping analytics application on a browser for better geospatial data explorations. Engineer can use this tool to visualize any geospatial data, creating different layers like scatter plot or arc layer heat maps or even 3D heat maps based on what's in your data set. An example of this, I also use New York City taxi data one day of it and plot it on a map and then configure the visual by, you know, color the points by different fares or different times or filter them through uh, what time the trip actually happens. This is an example of how I create this visual. So I just upload the CSV, contains one day of New York City trips. And then our platform is smart enough to detect the geo points in your data set and automatically creates uh, point layers from your pickup locations and drop up locations. So this is all the pickups in one day of all the taxi trip. There are 400,000 points being drawn on this application, but it takes 10 seconds to load and then you can interact with it pretty smoothly. And then you can even turn on like the drop up layer, which is in blue and then zoom in and zoom out. This is currently you are looking at like a million points in the browser in real time. And later on, you can filter them. You can basically filter the data points by any fields in your data set. So in this case, I'm filtering all the trips by when it happens. So I'm only looking at all the trips that happens during rush hours. And then the blue ones are drop-offs. Yellow points are pickups. I further filter out just the evening commute trips and then compare them side by side. You immediately see like there's a very diverse pat pattern in here, like almost all the pickup and drop-up reverse in the sense. What if I want to see the correlations between pickups and drop-ups? There's this arc layer I draw by connecting the dots. And like in New York, a lot of trips are going between the center of uh, Manhattan and the three airports. What if I want to look at a specific area of the city to see where the trip that's starting from that trips, where are they all going to? This is a way that helping us to study the connections between different parts of the city and the travel pattern of, of, the, of the city in diff at different time of day, the growth of Uber pool to a sense. Many of you are doing geo studies, uh, geospatial studies, so, you know, you don't want to just looking at each single point, you want to looking at the aggregation of it. So we do a lot of hexagon here. I'm drawing a heat map using hexagons. The color of the color of this heat map is based on number of trips. So I'm looking at the density of pickups inside the city, and I want to go fancy add like to add the three dimensional layer to this to have the height correlate to the number of trips. This way, you can immediately spot out the like the top percentile, the, the ones that are tallest. And a reverse operation of this is if I filter out the top percentile of distribution and then I redraw the height based on the rest, I can then later on see a more subtle distribution among the lower percentile to see how the density plays through the rest of the city. Building those tools, we build a lot of our own open source frameworks one of them is React Viz. So we build a React wrapper around D3.js, more so like high charts. So you can go check it out, Uber, uh, github.com slash Uber slash React Viz. So for our engineers, they can just use the libraries that we built to build their own dashboard without touching like the ugly low level D3 code. And it provides a collection of visualizations such as line chart, bar charts, tree graph, pie chart, and so and so. Another framework we built open source is WebGL based mapping libraries, uh, React MapGL, DeckGL, LumaGL. Like the application I showcased before, I used all those three libraries. DeckGL is the ones that help you build 
WebGL based applications. So you can handle like a million points on your browser in real time without problem. And then DeckGL also provide a set of visualization layers I just show like the line uh, link layer, the scatter plot layer, and also heat map layer. And in the end, we also love to tell stories with our data. We want uh, people to looking at Uber from a more technical view or more interactive view. So we build animations and images, you know, across board. We make this, we made this visualization for Uber Eats showing how restaurants deliver a different type of cuisine. We build the Uber pool data showing how traffic is affected by taking Uber pool. We also made videos for different cities showing a day in life of Uber, how trips going around the city. And in the end, we made visualizations showing how Uber's global presence, how we launched cities throughout five years or six years of our history. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. In the end, if you're interested in data science, if you're interested in drawing, not only drawing pretty pictures, but how people get insight from the data, please come to me. Thanks.